thing. Don't worry, Mama. I got this. My baby is gone! Gone! Looks like it's totaled. And we just paid it off the yesterday. Uh, I was really looking forward to not having a monthly car payment. This is great! We finally have an excuse to buy a new car! You're excited to go car shopping? And car shopping is the worst, fool! I would rather be the Krieg bird that eats the food bits from the teeth of the Glork Beast! <laughs> I know that car shopping may seem like a huge hassle, but that's only because you've never gone with a master negotiator like myself before. Trust me, this is going to be fun. Faster, cyborg. The hive is robbing the Jump City Bank. What do you want me to do, man? I don't control the traffic. We should have left earlier. Sorry, but when I got to go, I got to go. No, oh, there are far too many of the people in this city. Come on, be more aggressive. Okay, sheesh. <laughs> We'll stop you, Hive, as soon as we find a parking spot. Ah, fire hydrant. Loading zone. Invisible jet. Ah, parking spot. Go, go, go. I see it. I see it. Booyah. Now, let's take down the hive. Titans, go! Oh, they has gone. And so is all of the money currency. This is a devastating loss for the city. But at least we can take pride in the fact that we were delayed because so many people want to live in beautiful Jump City, home of the Teen Titans. Yeah, that's, that's about where I want to be. Hey, let's not waste this trip downtown. Who's up for some pizza? Vegan pizza! pizza. pizza. So, Titans, go! We can just cut to the front. No one will mind if the Teen Titans jump the line. Titans coming through! Pizza! We want it! Titans coming through! The big hockey game starts in 15 minutes. Why won't all these people get out of the way? Remember the rules, Titans, and never forget, car dealers are crooks. That's just a stereotype, Robin. Hello, Titan. Dr. Dr. Light? I should have known a villain like you would turn to this kind of criminal enterprise. Oh, no, no, no. You've got it all wrong. I've given up my life of crime to focus on my true passion of selling pre-owned vehicles. I've always been drawn to the romanticism of it. Oh, that is the Wonderful news, Dr. Light. Plus, it allows me to atone for my villainous misdeeds by donating all of my profits to underprivileged children. That is just incredibly kind. Oh, yeah. So kind, so lovely. It's all lies! He's just trying to trick us into overpaying for a car. Just give him a chance, Robin. So, you're in the market for a vehicle. How long have you been looking? Well, kind sir, we... Don't answer that! We're not going to let you size us up. Yeah, we're not going to tell you how bad we need a car. You will never know that we can do the paying of the cash monies up the front. And under no circumstances will I tell you that Robin is the adopted ward of billionaire Bruce Wayne. Uh, will you excuse us for a moment? Why? Ow, man! What'd you do that for? You just let Dr. Light size us up. <gasps> now he knows how much money he can squeeze out of us. I'm not going to squeeze you, Robin. I believe in building long-term customer relationships. Today, you're to get a fair deal on a great car. I promise. We'll see about that. <sighs> ah, do you smell that? Oh, what an intoxicating aroma. Mm. Oh, man. It's making my nose hungry. Mm. Where is that smell coming from? <gasps> it's coming. 
coming from under there. Hey, what are you doing? We have come here in search of the smell of the gods. You must be talking about the new, new car smell. You like that, huh? Blah! Yeah, I've been tinkering, tweaking, and straight up improverating everything on the T car. The engine's purring like a kitten. Meow. The suspension is springy like fresh baked bread. Delicious. The steering now handles like a car. Honk, honk. There's only so much you can do with steering. This is why you are my best friend and only true confidant. You act as if you hold more affection for the vehicle than for us, Cyborg. I do. You guys are garbage compared to my baby. And I love you guys. <laughs> Aw, he said he loved us. He also called us garbage. You have to understand. I found this car when it was just a baby. He had fallen out of his nest, and I knew he couldn't fend for himself, so I took him in. Taught him karate, Spanish, and most importantly, how to be a man. Hola, coche. None of that was true, Starfire. But it feels true, which makes it true. I wish you guys could love this car the way I love him. Oh, I know what we're doing. Road trip! <laughs> Come on! A road trip is the most fun thing in the world! We'll bring snacks? Snacks? Woohoo! Road trip! We'll bond as teammates and learn life lessons we've never learned cooped up in not a car. Team bonding! Woo! Road, road trip. trip! But where shall we go? From point A to point B! But it's not the destination that matters, it's the journey. Ooh, a magical journey? Abracadabra, darling! Woohoo! Woo road, road trip! trip. And I keep reading my book. You might get car sick, but sure. Woo, road trip. Woo road, road trip! trip! I have a plethora of cars to choose from. It is my goal to find the right one for you. This vehicle was previously owned by Catwoman. Smells like a litter box. Pass! Here, we have the Mobius chair. It can teleport you anywhere on the planet in a matter of seconds. <gasps> <gasps> Check it! Real Italian pizza! <laughs> hmm, does it have a cup holder? Um, no. Hard pass. Here is the Batmobile from the movie Batman and Robin. Oh, snaps! I want to be a Batman! Oz George Clooney. Pass. Come on, man. There has to be at least one car you're interested in. What's that one over there? This is the Joker Mobile. I don't think it will meet your needs. Like I care what you think. Roomy interior, leather seats, and this clown motif reminds me of growing up in the circus. Let's take it for a test drive. Could you please slow down, Robin? Of course not. Now, tell me about the features. This is the flapping gas launcher. <laughs> <laughs> Here is the oil slick switch, which is good if you're being chased by a vigilante. There's also a fun novelty horn. Ooh, what about that one? I'm afraid that feature is no longer available on this model. Of course it isn't. What a scam. <laughs> I think we're ready to talk numbers. Wonderful. I'll get the paperwork. By the end of this trip, you guys are gonna love this car as much as I do. Uh-oh, the hive. And it looks like they're stealing our idea for a road trip. Awesome. It was all right. I do not know why we are cheering such deplorable behavior. Woo, woo, woo! I love road trips! You guys having fun? 
No, we are out of snacks. There's been zero team bonding. I have not seen one fairy or the wizard on this magical journey. And I'm starting to get carsick. Then stop reading in the car! Look, every road trip can get a little dull, and that's what road games are for. <gasps> no! I learned a long time ago not to play the road games. Do you want the ball? Do you want the ball? Then go get it! Not those kinds of road games, Star. I know. Let's play Slug Bug. Ah! Ah! <laughs> All right, you got me. <gasps> Beast Boy, why would you do such a thing? It's part of the game, Star. Anytime you see a bug go by, you yell Slug Bug and punch someone in the arm. I understand. Slug Bug! Ow! <gasps> I see another insect! <gasps> ah, no! You don't understand! Wrong kind of bug! We missed! What a delightful game! <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Please, let's play I Spy instead. I Spy with my little. Another insect! Slug bug! Why? Well, this is where the driving instructor told me to meet. Get in, start engine. Okay. My name is Ed. I'll be your driving instructor. Ed? As in driver's Ed? <laughs> Just Ed. The way this works is that every time you fail to comply with an instruction, I make a deduction. Too many deductions, you fail. Hey, what's that noise? Is that... Pull out into traffic and proceed through the intersection. Uh, but what about and that... And that's a deduction. Ah, uh, okay. Right, right. I'm going... Where? That sounds like... Eyes front. D sorry. That's a deduction. Left here. No signal, another deduction. Oh, man. Increase your speed. If you say so. Now turn right. Are you sure? Deduction. Left. Deduction, hard right. Turn right. But there's no... Two deductions, hard right. I think we're finished here. So, how did I do? Hey, Gizmo, you need a ride to the mechanic? Uh, sure. That's awfully nice of you guys. Cool. Hop in. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. My foot slipped. Okay. Really? <laughs> Whoops. Sorry about that. Hop on in. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> okay, okay, for real this time. Jump in. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm gonna stop this time. I'm gonna stop this time. No, no, come on, come on. Ah! Ah! I love road trips again. So last time I think you freaked me out a little, but now I'm ready. Ah. Did you hear that? It sounds like that's going to be it. Okay, okay, no deductions. <laughs> This music is terrible. That's a deduction. Only three seconds in the air, deduction. I asked you to turn down the cereal aisle. I know, that's a deduction.
meet me for a retake in front of the casino. By the money factory. At the end of the rainbow. How about you just tell me who you are? We went to school together, right? You look a lot like my cousin. Did we eat at the same restaurant the other night? Hey, is that Robin? Huh. He's supposed to be meeting his driver's ed instructor. I don't know why he's in front of a jewelry store. Looks like it's because he's the getaway driver. Surely Robin is not aware he is aiding and abetting a criminal. Well, that's why we've got to warn him. Whoever you are. What are they doing here? Oh, they're here to laugh at me. No superpowers and can't drive. I bet that's what they're saying. I'll show them. Make a ride here. Stow it, Ed. I've got this one. Nice driving, cyborg. Hey, when did Starfire get here? You pass. Yes! But only because I never want you as a getaway driver again. I was using you the whole time and you couldn't see it. Nope, I knew. That's why I'm not warning you about the demon. Oh! <laughs> ah! That's right, Master Driver. <laughs> 